I listened to it for news and public affairs that I wouldn't get anywhere else here in Seattle specifically. I listen because I know that a lot of the news and public affairs that you guys provide, it's non-mainstream. So I also listen um, to be more engaged in democracy. KBCS is my world of music and ideas. Sunday strike deadline, the New Jersey Transit Labor Rail Coalition will be explaining details of a tentative labor contract agreement to its members on Tuesday. Union leaders won't comment publicly on details of the deal until rank and file members are briefed on it. More than 4,000 New Jersey transit workers have gone five years without a new contract. The AFL-CIO is launching digital ads attacking Donald Trump. It's an effort to educate voters. AFL-CIO President Ritz Trumka says Trump is nothing but a house of cards. And when people are educated about him, the House of Cards comes crashing down. The AFL-CIO Facebook and Twitter ads are just one element of a broader effort against Trump. A door-to-door -door targeted campaign to undermine Trump is also being launched in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and other key battleground states in the presidential election. Teamsters Local 100 say their one-day unfair labor practice strike last week was a message to Air Gas and Air Liquide that American workers won't tolerate violations of labor laws or human rights. Negotiations between the Teamsters and Air Gas are set to resume April 5th. Teamsters say they expect Air Gas to abandon the railway program. Marketing in good faith when the talks resume. 